What we found is that it appeared to us that a $7 million federal grant, the money had been diverted, not illegally, but it's permissible. It'd been diverted from teaching special needs children um, to training, pre we thought preschool, um, preschool kids. But what we have been told consistently this afternoon is that we're talking about preschool special needs children. That would mean autism, blindness, deafness, traumatic brain injury, cerebral palsy. The, these are the things. So I'm gonna put this up here uh, because the directive of this program, and we're not gonna listen to this bull crap that it's just one webinar. It's the esprit de corps of the whole organization. We've looked through it, we know it, we're not falling for it, is to build racial identity. So here, are the, the, there are some things that are blatantly racist and insulting. Um, we're going to put it to you guys though encourage the children to question social scientific and historical facts we want children to question whether information is true this is three and four year olds so the very definition of education is a transfer of knowledge that is what a teacher's role is so rather than transferring knowledge you're going to get a three-year-old to question it i don't know what these people are smoking they don't deserve $7 million, that's for sure. And then talk with children about their identities. First of all, that's not your damn job. No. Secondly, uh, developing pro-social um, you know, uh, behaviors, uh, learning to be respectful, learning to share things like that. Yeah, we get it. And then provide challenging instruction that encourages children to question what they see around them, including issues of power and control. Three and four year olds. This is how the state wants to use money to build racial identities. What the hell is going on?